Gary Gilmore. I live in Pennsylvania and for decades I like making charcoal and I've been working on different uh, methods, the direct method, indirect, but I finally come across what I call my two barrel method that I think is the simplest, most efficient, and easiest way to make charcoal. Um, so I'm going to show you, you judge for yourself how you like the system. It takes two barrels. Now this is just a small uh, grease drum. Uh, you can make it out of a larger 55 gallon drum. I've even made some even larger. But just for demonstrations, I'm going to show you how to do it. So this has a bottom, top is out of it. The first thing to do is make air inlets where the air comes in to make, to make the fire for the charcoal. And I just use a chisel. Oh, and about every three inches I put in a a hole. This lets the oxygen from the atmosphere go into the reactor. I'm sorry, the retort where the charcoal is made. You want to use a good sharp chisel. It's not hard to do this. Okay, this is the uh, reactor, or yeah, this is the retort, and it's finished. The next part of this charcoal producer is the afterburner. Here again, another barrel, but this one has a bottom in it which we have to cut out. So all we're doing is making a big tube, a, a chimney if you will, and this will burn off the smoke so that you're making charcoal with a relatively smokeless uh, method. Now just give me about three minutes here and I'll get this done. Okay. Okay, we're just about done. A few more hits here. have the afterburner which is nothing more than just a barrel but it has to fit on top of the retort. Okay, now it's time to fill the retort with wood. I like to till it a little bit and this is extremely important. Wood is an amazing stuff. It's actually a battery. in the air and water through the tree into cellulose, which a tree accumulates as wood. So this is really a stored battery. And in making charcoal, what we're doing is removing the hydrogen and the oxygen that's in the wood and the cellulose and leaving the carbon behind. So, I just start laying them in here. It's important very important that the wood is dry. 20% moisture content or less. If your wood is wet, green, you will spend most of the energy in the wood to drive off the water. And therefore, you won't have much charcoal left. background here you hear Chatoy, that's our Arabian horse. I guess he wants to be in the movie. But one of the purposes I use for charcoal is to put in his stall to help reduce the amount of odor that's created. It also has reduced the amount of flies and the charcoal absorbs the ammonia and the urea that's in the manure so that when I put it on the garden, those critical uh, nutrients are available for my plants. The other things I use charcoal for are in my forge where I do blacksmithing. I even run a vehicle on charcoal. I have a Model T Ford and a Volkswagen Beetle. I also use it in my compost bin 
and we're casting metal. Oh, I also grill over charcoal. That's great stuff. All right, the barrel is getting full. I'm going to fill the rest of the way with uh, small pieces, but it's important to try to get it as tight in there as possible. Yeah, I'll get a small one. 